Ken Bruce opened up about why he decided to leave BBC Radio 2 and insisted there were no hard feelings about stepping down. Whilst speaking to Lorraine Cayley recently, he said he had reached the time in his life where he asked himself, do I keep doing this forever and ever and watch a slow decline? Express. Co.uk has all you need to know about when he starts his new job. When does Ken Bruce start on Greatest Hits? Thankfully fans of the DJ will not have long to wait as his brand new show begins in just a few days time. The star told Planet Radio, What better way to celebrate my 45 years in radio than with a new adventure and a brand new show on Greatest Hits Radio. I say brand new but there will still be Popmaster, me and my musings and all the great records you know and love from the 70s, 80s and 90s. I'm looking forward to getting started and to you joining me for my very first show. See you in April. Ken joins Greatest Hits Radio from Monday April 3rd and the much-loved presenter will host a mid-morning show on weekdays from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. He will be bringing some of his usual favorites to his new home including Pop Master. The popular music quiz will air on weekday mornings from 10. 30 a.m. Listeners can expect to hear hits from the likes of Blondie, Queen, George Michael, Madonna, Fleetwood Mac, David Bowie, Elton John, and Whitney Houston. They can access greatest hits on DAB Digital Radio, online at www.greatesthitsradio.co.uk, or via the Greatest Hits Radio app. During Ken's chat with Lorraine he went on to explain why he made the career move. He said, do you give yourself a kick up the backside and try something new? I mean, it's not brand new because I'm more or less doing the same thing but it's a different environment and a commercial station which I've never worked on before. Don't miss. Coronation Street's Stephen Reed's lies exposed as Carla returns, latest, Ken Bruce insists Terry's no hard feelings after Radio 2 exit, interview, Vanessa Feltz admits she didn't want to leave BBC Radio 2, insight, so it will be a little challenge but enough of a challenge to keep me on my toes. Ken admitted he wanted his own exit from BBC Radio 2 to be on his own terms but there was no pressure. When Ken's exit was initially announced, the BBC said he would host his show until the end of March. But his time was cut short, with Ken revealing this was not his decision. Ken also recently paid tribute to his friend and colleague Paul O'Grady who died unexpectedly but peacefully on March 28. He said, he deserves it, the tributes following his death. When people are alive, we don't tell them enough that we love them. It is a shame that Paul is not able to read these. I think it was easy for him. He was a natural communicator, and he was being himself. I think that is what connected him with people, they knew they were hearing the real Paul. Ken Bruce joins Greatest Hits Radio from April 3rd, he will be on weekdays from 10am until 1pm.